For this recipe, you will need two cups of arborio rice, a half a pound of sliced mushrooms, a tablespoon of chopped Italian parsley, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, six and a half cups of chicken broth, a clove of garlic, a fair amount of olive oil standing by, some salt and pepper, a quarter of a cup of whipping cream, a quarter of a cup of white wine, and some grated Parmesan cheese. In a saucepan, add the six and a half cups of chicken broth. When you've done that, put it on to the stove, and on a medium flame, let it heat up to a simmer. While that's working, you'll need another saucepan and a frying pan. Heat some of the olive oil in the frying pan over medium heat. First, add the garlic. Mmm, starting to smell good already. And then add the mushrooms. Just saute the mixture for about three to four minutes until the mushrooms are wilted. Then lower down the flame so it heats real slowly. And if it starts to get too done, you can just set it aside till we're ready for it. Now add a few pinches of salt. Turn on a medium heat flame under the empty saucepan and pour some olive oil into it. Then add about a third of the butter. Stir it all up together and it should begin to sizzle. Once it does, it's hot enough to add in the rice. Once that's done, you must make sure to constantly stir the rice to prevent it from burning. Do this for five to seven minutes until it's kind of toasty. Okay, remember that simmering chicken broth? Well, it's just about time for it to go to work. But first, keep an eye on those mushrooms. Make sure they're not burning. Okay then. Add a quarter of a cup of wine to the rice and stir it up a bit. Add some more salt, and then begin to add the broth to the rice, one ladle of it at a time. Stir the rice a bit so the broth is spread evenly. Then wait for it to be absorbed into the rice. It'll take a couple of minutes. Once it's absorbed, add another ladle of broth and repeat the process by doing the same thing. A little mixing, a little waiting, a little watching, until it's all absorbed. Repeat this process until most of the broth is used up, leaving a couple of ladles for later. Okay, once all the broth you've added has been absorbed by the rice, it's time to add in the mushrooms and garlic. Stir the mixture up. Finally, add one last ladle to the blend and stir it again. You might want to take this opportunity to taste it and see if you want or need to add any more salt. If it's all good, turn off the flame Stir in some pepper. Some of the parsley. The rest of the butter. All the whipping cream. And all the Parmesan cheese. Stir it all together and you're ready to serve it immediately. Oh my mouth-watering goodness. Creamy risotto with mushrooms. Nice. And it's that simple at Simple Foodie.